Hi everyone, my name is Charlie and today I have a review of Harmless Like You by Rowan Hisayo Buchanan. Harmless Like You follows two perspectives, the first being of a young woman called Yuki in 1960s New York and her son Jay in 2016. The story is that Yuki abandoned Jay and he, his father has bequeathed Yuki something in his will. So Jay has to find Yuki and in doing so is also looking to find answers. This is a book that has been recommended quite a lot this year. I have seen it on a few best books to look out for lists and seems to have similar themes to The Leavers, The Knicks and The Patriots, all of which focus on mothers being separated from their sons in some way. I began this book with very high expectations because of the prose that I was reading. As Yuki is an artist, it felt very, it was very full of imagery, and that was something I liked. And there were these very poetic images in there that had me enthralled and thinking that this was going to be a fantastic book. However, that isn't what I got. I got a book that is definitely good, but it is by no means fantastic. My mind wasn't blown, and when it has themes that I have seen already done really well this year, I couldn't help but feel like it was just lacking something. The character of Yuki is an interesting character to explore in that she is very detached from the world around her because she is coming from a Japanese background but has always lived in New York and knows nothing else and her parents are planning on emigrating but she wants to stay here and she wants to discover her own identity. That is a good thing about these books. It is a twist on the classic coming of age novel of finding your identity by removing yourself from your parents and exploring who people are without their parents. Yuki made the conscious decision to leave her parents, but she, Jay didn't have that choice. Yuki left him. I question whether it's to do with some, like, the themes, or to do with something going on in the world at the moment, with there being separation between our elders and us, and exploring that by using the mother-son relationship. However, I really just, I didn't get on with the book. I enjoyed parts of the prose but I just thought that it was too bleak and I didn't really believe in the character's decisions. Because Yuki was a detached character I felt that, like I never really got a full idea of who she was as a character and none of the characters really felt real, they never felt grounded. They felt like the author had a great way with words and she had a great way of exploring the art and the images of the world around her but she didn't know how to put these characters in there so she just had the characters reacting to the world around them rather than being a main active force in there. There is one bit in the middle when Yuki is doing something and she had this line and I thought that was the biggest soap opera line I have ever seen. Like it could have fit into any sort of television drama and for the type of book that I was reading it didn't really fit and it pulled me out of the story. For a book to really make me call it brilliant it has to like make me feel something for the characters and I only continued reading this book because it was one of the books I wanted to read by the end of the year. In fact I don't do star ratings anymore because I don't... I couldn't find a way to make them fit to the way I like to review things. However this was a book that I went into believing would be exceptional and would be in one of my top ten of the year so it was rather disappointing in that fashion. I wrote in my review for this on Goodreads that I think the reason we are seeing so many books about parents and children being separated is because it promises the reader some sort of conflict and we know that in every book we read there is supposed to be conflict and it's this promise because although there might not be conflict at the start you know it's going to be coming and it can't, it makes this promise to you so you won't mind so much that the conflict isn't ever present right from the beginning. However I didn't agree with the way things went in this book. I felt like the ending was too clean and I think that the writer stayed clear of having the Yuki fight with anybody and I don't I didn't want like fisty cuffs, I didn't want people having these huge arguments. I just wanted the character to actually consider what was happening in her life and actually not be so separated because it all kind of felt like 
I was reading a Lana Del Rey song in that it was all very sleepy and it went along at this very steady pace and everybody was nice to each other even though it was kind of a cruel niceness um, and then it ended and everyone knew how to be cruel to each other but they didn't necessarily actually give any thought to anything and it was just just a bit of nothing really. That's all I can say. I'm now going to be donating the book to the writers group to see if anyone wants to read it there because like I say it was seen as one of the best books and someone's definitely gonna like it that person's just not me. Anyway have you read this book? If so please feel free to talk to me in the comments and give me your thoughts and I hope you enjoyed this video and until next time that is all.